Hey what's up guys, I'm Kim Bonanno and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. Gotta admit it's been a while since I played so I'm actually not too sure what happened in the last video. I'm pretty sure we had a run-in with the Foreman brothers who had kidnapped Tilly and then I think we did a bunch of side missions which I've had a ton of fun with. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed the ones that are in, in Saint Denis so far. Apparently I've been saying Saint Denis wrong because there's a silent S in the knee, the knees, the knee, whatever. So gotta gotta try and pronounce it correctly from now on. We're just gonna continue from where we left off and um, I don't have a plan. Although I do have a, a small update but I'll show you guys in a minute. Hold on. All right, we're in camp. Um, how do I show you in the best way? Long story short, as you can see on our supplies, they're all in yellow. Whoopie de hoo. <laughs> Big yay. Is Javier playing the guitar again? Yes. I'm gonna stretch my legs. All right, Bailey boy, you do that. Okay. Uh, crafting upgrades. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tight on space. So, oh, I only made two. Okay, I thought I made three. Oh, and then we can, oh, okay, we can only have one equipped at a time, I see. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and uh, played a little bit off camera because I was... Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I was really bored one day and all I really wanted to do was to play Red Dead but not necessarily record anything, wasn't really in the mood for that. So I did a ton of hunting and yeah, crafted two satchels um, because I thought we might as well get started on it and I actually really ended up enjoying the hunting a lot more than I thought I would. Um, but yeah, I think I'm starting to get a hang of it and as you can see like for some of them we are only we missing before I can make something like that <laughs> we're only missing one pelt for for some of them so we are on our way to get this done and well, I'm feeling a little hopefully we'll be able to get that done soon so and I also think I maybe yeah, I think I also made a few camp upgrades um, here and there, but not like a lot at all. Um, there's still a lot we can do. I think this is new or something. I don't know, but yeah, I'll keep my just eye out for some good material. Spent some time doing that. Made sure Arthur had um, food. Which here we go. Um, should have a bat as well. So that is noise. Can we? There we go. Hey, come have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> Well, at least you're a happy drunk. <laughs> Happiness is important, Arthur. Ladies bloomers? All right then. Hi, Arthur. Hello. Hey, folks. Hang in there. We'll be back on track soon. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't worry about me. All right. I won't then. <laughs> No. I always worry about everyone. Mr. Pearson. It's the Pearson. Tilly, you, you okay? Covered? Yeah. I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. Of course. Just glad you're okay. Yeah. Well, I should get back to it. Sure, Arthur. Is he sleeping? You going to get up? Ha! What is it? You were snoring, that's all. Oh, just go away. Little boy. Such a hard worker. Love him for it. 
Lenny. At least someone around here's got a brain in his head. Hey, Arthur. But yeah, while I was hunting, I mean, not nothing really, nothing interesting really happened. Although we do have gotten like some of the missions available, and for one of the satchels, I needed to get a, a perfect bison pelt. Uh, so while I was riding to or making my way to Valentine, uh, because. Or Emerald Range, I should, Emerald Range, I should say. Um, I did have two stranger missions pop up, or like the question mark, uh, in this area around here, something. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if we should start off by doing that because we've already been introduced to these, and we have a bouncy up here and. So maybe something completely new, and I promise we'll we'll do the Dutch mission because everyone's been, everyone and, and their mother have been yelling at me to go and get uh, Jack, and I will. But sheesh, I'm just playing the game like I always have. <laughs> do? And like they're not gonna hurt the kid. They're not. I refuse to believe that. So he'll be fine. I'm not worried. That sounds wrong, yep. but understand me right. I'm worried about him, as in he is missing from the group. But I again, I refuse to believe that they're gonna hurt him. Okay, we're gonna get... They're quite close to each other, actually. We're gonna get past this one first, so... Let's make our way yeah. there. Uh, one thing that happened, which I couldn't really stop, was um, at this church, there was two idiots <laughs> who was trying to blow up a safe. Easy now. And they ended up blowing, blowing themselves up as well. Yep. And I got a few, uh, like, $40 out of that or something. I don't know. It's a bit um, shocking and traumatizing in a way, but that is the only weird thing that happened. Yeah, hopefully next time I go hunting I can uh, stream it for you guys, so... What is that doing there? Has it just been... That's a bit suspicious. Oh, sir, just in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Uh, why not? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Ow! Hey, hey, thanks for the food. I, I, I knew it. Oh, damn horse is crazy. Yep. You just had to ask for help. Huh. Hold now. Oh, shh. It's okay. No one gets to take you. Yeah, the first time that happened, you guys told me that I could just whistle the horse and it would buck the rider off. So, um, 
thanks for that tip. That's a whole lot easier than having okay, to shoot him <laughs> while he's on the horse. Yeah, he's a good girl. So, so good. Yep. You deserve an apple for that. Yeah, you can kind of starting to hear on the voices if they are with good intentions or bad intentions. So already there, I just accepted it because I was like, um, I know he's gonna do it. I'm prepared for it, so I know what to do if he if he's actually doing it, and I'm just. Uh, Mistaken him for a bad person. Grim. Look at that bird. That's a big bird. Ooh. I am a little bit intrigued about since we have no idea what it is. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is where we found the Germans. Oh, there's a camp here. Okay. There he is. Are you guys hey, sick? Mister. They don't look too good. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We oh. ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. The escapees. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Oh. Uh, and he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me? I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm I'm begging you, partner. <sighs> Do we have medicine? Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, why? I told you to help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. No, give it to White. No, no. Drink okay. this and shut Take it. up. Thank you. Oh, oh that's that good magic stuff. water. Ooh. But listen. Uh, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. The bromance. The bromance. Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Oh. Well, be embarrassed no more. Get back to where folks like you, and I'll go where they like me. Uh, oh, I shall. Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> You're so adorable. Oh, maybe I should take the horse instead of running. All right. Well, that was quick, and we have already encountered them before and then there is a mission over here i think not that you know we're in a rush to do these or anything 
it's more since I encountered them or I saw that they were on the map. I was like, okay, I should probably start by doing those next time I record because otherwise I might just forget about them and that I don't want to. <laughs> I also feel like, like the stranger missions have started to become really fun and very interesting. Not that they weren't in the beginning, but I feel like the more we progress, the more I am also enjoying them. And in the beginning, a lot of them were, you know, you met someone and then they would collect something like dinos dinosaur bones, di dinosaur, dinosaur bones and was it not here? So, uh Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. And uh, the cigarette cards. And uh, there's something else. But yeah, stuff like that. Oh, this is cute. Arthur Radio Jam is like the best. Oh, the flies are really bugging her. Oh, poor baby. All right, you get a pet. There, girl. Did you go go? And a little snack, because why not? All right, Arthur, you should get something to eat as well. There we go. Hello, good sir. Yes, can I help you? Hey. Ah, oh, ah, oh, God. <gasps> Look at that hat! Chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill! Wow! Who? No way! The famous fisherman! I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? Wow. I wrote it. Good for you. <laughs> you really don't know who I am? Yep. Nope. Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no, to marry. <laughs> but I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many is do it you like want? The brackets if you get three, on, on a wall? we can do a photograph together, like actual friends. Uh, oh, wow. Fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People so. love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, yeah. there's some okay. man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis. Those and are humongous. Okay. Look at them fishies. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for... Fifty dollars. I'd give you fifteen. Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least twenty-four inches in length and ten pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. <laughs> so I hear. So is 
Ah. What a nice reward. Is he... So who's the guy with the bait? Special... Oh. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> okay, so he... Okay. Here's the guy... Okay. Alright. So that was the mission I've been... Uh, reading. Not reading about, but that was the one we needed to find. Uh, see, there's a campfire over here. Yeah. Do I think they're going to be nice? No. But you never know. Easy. I don't share this camp with no one. Else. Oh, that's fair enough. Scram, okay? All right. Okay. Does that mean we should start fishing? Um. Okay. Let me have a look here. Where is... Uh... That is over here. Yeah, the bait. The bait shop. Um. I think before we get robbed again... <laughs> Let us make our way over there and buy the lures. I don't know how diff how many different ones there are. But let's do that and then we can make our way into town. Do the story mission with Dutch and then uh, we can see how long that is going to take. And how many story missions there are going to be available after that. And then we can do maybe some side missions or stranger missions and go fishing. Very excited. Yeah. I also think like maybe for streaming, you know, going hunting, I think also doing all the the fishing. There's 13 fish, legendary fish. That's a lot. <laughs> um Yeah, lots to do. Yeah, it's mainly because, you know, I know that a lot of you are here to see my reaction and hear my thoughts to like the missions and not everyone cares about the hunting and that aspect of the game or the fishing for that matter. So I feel like streaming it here on YouTube um, would be like a good middle ground because the videos would be available afterwards. So those who are interested can watch it. As like some extra content and those who don't care can just you know watch the the regular videos and 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 all that jazz so now i just need to set everything up but Something. You better not drop it. You better not. Come on, what you. What the hell are you fools wearing? Ah! Oh, Jesus. You damn fool. Look what you what? did. Oh. Oh, bitch. Ah. What? Whoa. Oh, he's got a knife. Wait. I did not see the knife. I did not see the knife. <gasps> I got scared for a second. Goddamn idiots. 49 cent meeting letters. Wait. Orderly meeting minutes. Attendees six. All official titles to be changed again requires new meeting as the member formerly Known as Secretary, I shall now be known as Grandoy's Scribe. Whatever. My assistant will now be known as Grandoy's Scribe. Huh? Senior Warlock will now be known as Grandy Grand Satire. Set, set, uh, <laughs> what are these words? 
Other job titles up for discussion at meeting requested above job titles of Kaiser remains banned as per meeting of August last. Question for opening discussion. Is there a way to make these ropes less flammable? <laughs> Acceptable food for grand birthday dinner French, possible Spanish, dis definite no. Membership dues 87% under quarterly target. Ideas for new Inish. What is all this? Female members still affirm no! <laughs> Bunch of bitches! Wesley P. Kellett. Disappointing attendance number again. Members who fail to attend will be punished. Somebody who needs to review that pamphlet written by Norris Forsyth. Oh. Another thing. Um, I met the infamous guy. Um, letter to Pa. Um, who gives out some interesting pamphlets in Saint Denis? Yep. Um, which I had already already tackled and beaten the shit out of before, but he was back. So this time, no hesitation. I just shot him <laughs> right in the head. So I don't think he will return again. I guess sometimes when you beat them, they don't die necessarily, they just get knocked out. I don't know. Should we? Yeah. At least I was a bit like. Didn't you? Di I thought you were dead. I thought you already died. Apparently not. Yeah. Look at us go. Going into swamp territory, so yeah. Woo! <laughs> Load up. Bats. Change. That was new. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. What is that mission? MD. Oh, in his lap. Oh, the um, the boat guy, right? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Easy there, girl. Yep. All right. I mean, the bait shop is probably closed now. Maybe. We'll see. There we go. I think that's yep. just where we're going, right? loud in this part of the map with all the ambi ambience noise. To the bait shop. I guess they're open like always. Oh nice to see you again, mister. You too it's all spread out right here. Come see. Alright. So 
special lake lore. Mm -hmm. River, swamp. Uh, I don't know. Should we Very have popular? All right. <laughs> okay. At least now we have some of the lake lore or the lures. I don't know if we'll need. Okay, I guess since we're here, I'm gonna buy some of the live ones. Oh, no. Crayfish, excellent for attracting medium-sized swamp fish. Okay then. Okay. Nope. You okay, boy? I'm gonna pet him because I ran one of them over last time we were here, and I feel so bad. Let me go. Oh, here you go, boy. All right. <gasps> the rain. Okay. Dutch. Run away. What is the time? Okay. We're gonna get closer to town and then I'm gonna set up a camp and then we can sleep. Um, because I do like to do story missions in, in daylight. Oh, I think it was a crocodile. Easy, whoa. Yep. Hello? I don't blame you. Oh god. 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 What am I doing? What am I doing? Hello? Man, you alright? You okay, ma'am? Talk to me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> She's got it. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. What the fuck is this shit? Creepy bastards! Oh hell no! I'm so sorry, girl. I don't know what I was thinking. So sorry. You're all right now, girl. Thank God we didn't get eaten. What the hell was this? They look like zombies. houses Are they well they're wearing face paint
One cent. Let's go. We're rich. We're rich. What in the friggity fruit was that? Um. Oh, actually. Yeah. I know I need to clean up in um, my weapons. I, I know. I know! It's okay. You're a brave girl. It's very brave. Braver than me right now, that's for sure. Did they live over there? I'm definitely not sitting up a camp here. Hey, okay, no way in hell. Okay. You're okay, girl. Okay, is there a path anywhere? Okay. Close. We just continue. Idiot. Good girl. Right there. Okay then. Do I dare going towards that noise? I swear if it's swamp people, we shoot on sight. Easy. You must be real lonely out here, friend. Okay. So, you hungry? Huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come on on. All right, listen to me. I know all of you want me to go in there. I know it. <laughs> the thing is, I consider Arthur a good man. And I like Arthur. I care about him. And a lot of you say, it's just a game. Go and experience what the game, you know, those experiences. Which is why I also went, I already, like the guy, the two guys that robbed us, who stole a lot of our money. The reason I already, I, I knew he was going to rob me. I, I'm not that stupid. But I thought I could do something about it and I wouldn't get knocked out from behind. So I went with the flow there. I was like, okay, let's see what happens. Am I going to do this to a creepy guy out in the swamp? What you thinking, partner? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Nah. -uh. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies from that guy. Same with the the pig people. I don't like it. I'd rather not. How do you do, sir? Oh, you got lights on your wagon. So innovative. Yeah. Maybe another time? Uh, not today. Not today, sir. Again, he would probably take all our money. All our things. Yeah. Ain't no way. It's already four in the morning. Good lord. Sorry. Good day. Alright. Alright. Just... I waited for it to get a bit... lighter in the game. Oh, 
Who's Johnny boy? I think that's John. Yeah, that's John. Boys, I'm here. I made it. Angela Bronte, man of honor. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European who's clearly that's, got power and money. That's us. Now, listen, us Europeans. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> we have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Is that him? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Hello. Dutch, you go first. Thank you. We just want the Don't boy. Worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. I'm getting Morphia vibes here. Guess that's the. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Later. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? I mean, he was given the We ain't got no he? problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Oh my god, what a snob. Indeed you have. Now. That's Europeans for you. <laughs> we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. Okay, and you have I'm gone kidding. and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> Such dick measurement behavior. <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine mm. place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, 
Why don't you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. What is that new the winner? Oh, and it's the oh my god. So much for waiting, huh? You're right, Johnny. It's okay, girl, just a scratch. Come on then. You sure you're okay, John? Oh. I I don't know where we're going. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. But we have been there, Pretty haven't sure we? By it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. We all do. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. So, like, what is the plan? What are we even doing? Like, grave robbers? Sure, but are we... Are we killing folks? Or are we... Like, scaring them? Or... I... I ain't too sure what the plan is. This way. Okay, so we are searching for grave robbers, all right. Awesome. My fave activity. Come on, let's find him and get the hell out of here. Search the. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. I meant to sneak or. <laughs> Follow John, I don't think so. Well, John is walking normally, so... I hear... Oh, shit! Oh, that's a rat. I'm gonna push your head. You wash my back. Oh, wait. What was that? Shush. Stop. Wait. Wait a sec. Hold on. What? Shush, shush, shush. Is he burping? <laughs> what am I? No, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Oh. They can hear us, you know. 
Loud noises. You boys found my puppies watching. Huh? Oh, she's. Wait, wait, wait. Were we set up? Damn it! How many you think? Three? Let's play a one. This ain't worth it. Look out! They're making a run for it. What? What you trying to draw us out? Where the bitch is at? You think you can rob us? Please, God! Ah! Ah! God, get off! First fight, let's go! Yeah, boy! Come on, come on! What you got? Got him. I got him. I got one. No doubt. Is there more? Let's get after him. Sorry. They got a lot of money on them. Oh. What you want? Awesome. <laughs> right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Okay, search for the grave robbers stash. <clears throat> We can't go back to Bronte with nothing I to show I know, for John. We just discussed this. Let me loot. Hmm. Think there might be something in here. Uh. Oh. Got it. Good. That's Let's not get out of here. Is the popo coming? Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Oh. Damn it. Sh Shish kebab. Let's go around the side. We did nothing wrong. Oh, maybe we did. John, please tell me you. Way. Get down. Choo -choo -choo -choo. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. No, we're not. Come on, stay together. John, they're coming this way. Ooh. Oh god. Intense! I'm so happy he's taking the lead on this because... Oh, they're guarding. Aren't they? Can we just climb over? They have to be here somewhere. You try the left, and I'll go straight ahead. Good thing he didn't say right. Okay. Do you want to 
think it's time to go. Go, 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 go. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. All right. <gasps> GG's! Yeah. I'm sorry. Whoa. You boys did good. Real good. I think we lost. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch! I'm well, ahead of you. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he Wait. even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Yeah. Like I said. He's got kids see in the street, you know? We got Jack. That's not Dutch. All right. Hello. You're not gonna let us in. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you the took boy. your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. Jack, a boy. Fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple on, country man. boys. There. I don't know, that doesn't sit right with me. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You yes. Gonna stick with me now? You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. Papa? What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box, and lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, See, they've been treating him well. All right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? Yes. She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. See, they've been good to him. But there's also something very fishy about this. Something very, very fishy. Hey, yo. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail. Abigail. We got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Mom. He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? 
I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, can't party. Boy, safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Oh my God! Look at that. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> Play us away. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. Dan, dan, I got tears in my eyes. <laughs> Porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Let's go, Javier! All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí back, de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor... Let's go have a bee. Come on! How about another one? You must be starving, son. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. I love how much Javier is starting to play music. Let's get drunk! Here you are. Eat up. Thanks. <laughs> chuck, chuck, chuck. My goodness. I feel like I can breathe again. 
Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was. Well, I was just. Worried. God, can he just keep going? It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry, it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. Oh, right, Arthur's right. way ahead of you. Boring bastard. But, uh, someone I never saw, they, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <laughs> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. <coughs> Is that right? He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. All good, Jose. Where I want to be, homeboy. With the girl on either knee. You know, boys. There ain't no being saved. Ain't no being lost. Them fights was over long ago. Or never happened, was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. You was born, you die. In between, you... Do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad. And just the length of time between being born and dying, that's all there is. <laughs> Ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. Jose is like, it. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that. See it for what the hell it is. Another song? Come on, fellers! What do you got for me? You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. <laughs> That'd be the best idea. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, I'll go. What am I, a child to be talked to like that? I am a lady, a lady, well bred, not some trollop off the street you can pick up, you sanctimonious bastard. I'm a lady. Oh, yes, I can see. Very lady. -like. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. Well, have you walked in all behind and on your shoulders? I'm well, sure you do. You see everything you different. Promise me. when you're pale, you pay. You'll have to walk on the way. Leaving the sad with the cunning laugh. You'll have to push the other hand. She okay? Well, clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. Oh my god, just a sense. 
Just a sentence, it's getting very tiresome. I could I could never I no. There he is. Oh Arthur. Hey, Karen. The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. <laughs> See? See? What I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith. Hey and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. You sure about that? My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Fiji. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Oh. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch. <laughs> That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. Oh, my God. All day long on the prairies I ride Not even a dog to trot by my side but the fire I kindle the cow chips around The coffee I pour without being brown Karen, I walk in oh, the oh, go, go to wipe bed on the sack. Oh, oh, I carry my wardrobe oh, oh, no my God. Karen Karen. It's sleepy time. Oh my goodness. Oh. She went to bed. My books are guns. My sermons are stones. My parsons are wolf. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We nope. both died. Six points, Kevin. Yeah. Show me a man that's true. That sleeps more profound oh, than big old I am really drunk. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yep, all right, I'll see ya. <laughs> yep, all right, I'll see ya. Parson remarks from his pulpit of bones Fortune favors those who look out for their own <laughs> All right. Oh my god Where did that come from? Stop acting like a drunken idiot. I learned it from you. Oh, shut your mouth. Well, I should get back to it. <laughs> Time for bed. My God.
go and get cozy inside. Is the, why is there like a music icon? Is that because of the party? get some sleep. Just a little bit. A letter has arrived before you return to camp to read this. I not read it because of the fast travel? Can I... Oh. In first person it wants to. My dear Arthur. Oh no. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He Don't do this to me! I'm still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Girl. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need Of course not. Help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Yeah. Woman, stop. Stop. Ugh. All right. I cried uh, with after their first mission because I felt so bad and sad for Arthur. And now this woman is gonna come crawling back like that. <sighs> I'm obviously gonna go and do the mission. Um, but it... It just... Oh, there. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at his eyes. His eye color. Why does his skin look like that? Is it. Has it always looked. I don't know. I do I, I do like him without facial hair too. Oh, I didn't mean okay. Well pomade hair it is. <sighs> it's 
see. Now, I obviously don't know what mess she's gotten herself into. Um, but... She, she's using him. And... She knows that he cares. He still cares about her, so... He's gonna... Obviously... Oh. Gonna come and help her. And she knows that. There's a lot of ammo here. Sheesh. Okay, we have a mission with Hosea. Hosea needs to speak to you, and that looks like we're going to that party that Dutch talked about with the mayor or whatever. Um, however, I do feel like Arthur would go to Mary like as soon as he saw that letter. So I do want to do that, you know, do some of these stranger missions, maybe just those two. But I don't know how long they're going to be, but um, that's the plan for now. And then I'll see how long it takes and then we can maybe go and do the mission with Hosea. Um, yeah, and then we also have like these two, but probably won't have time for that today. All right, maybe we could just... Uh, contribute. All good, Mr. Pearson? Just making sure they can't get a little bit of money. Hello, Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, look at him work. Hey, we got a well-stocked larder, Mr. Morgan. Good. Yeah, life is good. At least for now. In good health. Of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? <laughs> you just got so wasted last night that you want whiskey in your drink? Hi, uh, folks. Room here by the fire, Arthur. How are you? Hey there. How old are you now? 21, 22? You know, you shouldn't ask a lady such things. You okay, Charles? Yeah. You did good getting the boy back. Mm. All in the past now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. I wonder if I'll ever not right. smell of campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Probably. Mr. Morgan. Oh, uh, what now? Mr. Morgan. 
Reverend? I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I... I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. All right. Moving on. Reverend is such a... Oh, no. I was about to go, hey, what's up, uh, Hosea? But <laughs> then I remembered. But that's not a good idea right now. Some of the noises these animals make are so cursed. It's like, what? What is that? It's probably a bird or something, I don't know. Arthur, you keep going. Yeah. I do really like this city though. So far, so much to do. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's fine. It survived. I was like, why is the water red? But I guess it's just. Filthy. I don't know how to explain it. What you guys doing? Morning. Hello. Hey, mister. Hello. Ain't worth paying by. Hey! Wait up there! What's got you frolicking around these parts? Not much to be happy about the way I see it. What is it with the men round here? Let me through! I'd head out full chiseled if I was you. Lest you want to be shot to death. You're lucky you ain't suffering death by a raider. Excuse me? All right, limber up! Huh? Ah! Yep. Jesus Where are you all are getting dumber? They started shooting first, all right? Calm. You're Bubba's. Out of the way! <laughs> Aggressive. Are those Ugh, kids. Blech. I know I say that I hate kids. Ain't it, mister? It's only if they're annoying, okay? Which a lot of them are. Some of them are very cute as well. Some of the time. Come on. Oh. You came! 
Yeah. Okay. No. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Excuse me? Oh my god, Arthur. Arthur! Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? Oh my I'm god. a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, oh, but he surely wasn't. you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Oh, shut your um. Please. I'm sorry. I can't. I, can't. I, I am. I should have asked someone else. But but I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. No, you just you want him that. to be someone mm -hmm. he's not. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> Please. Thanks. You came. Come with along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. <laughs> oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, what's your game here, Mary? I don't know. Ugh. She is so calculated. It's insane. She knows she's got him right here as long as she just keeps stringing him along. Because he's a little bit of a fool, but I don't blame them. I don't know why stuff like this bother me so much. I think... Um, having had friends who've been in this situation, I know I decided to help her, but it's a game. Um, but having had friends who've been in situations like this, where it's like, they're just playing you for a fool and keeping you as a second option because what if nothing else better comes along? And it's... Oh, it... So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out.
I don't like I, I don't know what happens if you decide not to help her. I guess like in both situations, I guess you just don't do the mission. But yeah, it yeah. This is the place. If it wouldn't be if it would have been real life, I would have not helped her. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Bitch, Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. It, it, does she just want everyone? This way. Does she just want everyone around her to act in a certain way? Like, I... Obviously, I, I don't know the he whole situation. Yeah, I see. I'm not blind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does she just want everyone around her to act in a certain way? Or... Oh, it's gonna Hold hurl. On. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Woman. Mary, I see. Don't lose sight of him. I'm gonna get jumped. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. No. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? Oh my god. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You're spying. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Watch your step. Yeah, Mary, why would he do that? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah, what is daddy doing? <sighs> Ugh. Yeah, he will probably get in trouble somehow. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's waiting. either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So. Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. 
Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was and mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate oh, of interest. God. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice Mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Oh Don't hurt God. anyone, Arthur. Can't make no promises. Uh. Hey, you, Ash! Hold it right there! Oh, I don't want to spawn. Hey! Stop that coach! Here we go. Take the fast model. Yeah, I, I, we also need you to go and stable my other one. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Can't hurt no one. Uh, you good girl? You stop right now. God damn, they're going fast. How? If there's a okay, there's okay, that's four. Whoa! I thought you'd jump it. I thought you would jump. I'm so sorry. Thank God they slowed down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, food, food, food. Can we? Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> What do I do? Jump. All right. What the hell? Goodbye. Ah. Whoa. Um. Up on that brooch, fair and square. Yep. Oh, he's in the. Okay. Well, let me go. A little bit, maybe. Easy. Here we go. Get out of there. Hello, Ashton. Leave me alone. Him to the Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I oh. want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. Just hand I it over it then. Fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could. Give it to you for a hundred dollars. Ain't no way. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Just give it. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Take the damn thing. Thank you. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Please get eaten by a crocodile. That would be so funny. Well then. Hey there, girl. Yep. Okay, he's gonna get there himself. 
That is nice. That is nice. Oh, okay. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Mm, nothing happened. Just a few scratches. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Fine. I want to go to the theater. theater? Me? I mean, we're... Sure, we're why really... not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of Damn. beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Yeah. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Really wish we'd showered him up a bit. Thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare! for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. I'm gonna be nice since Mary is here. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Loosen them stirrups and 
Dulcet tones, right? Yes. You got she has no pure chance. spectacle, and <laughs> I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Nobody. Your cares. mother most likely <laughs> told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company in this of guy strange women. So funny. You are about to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Nobody, Ooh. no one cares. Stop it. Amazing. Amazing. <gasps> Wham. I was about to ask that he. Does she have something around her waist? Woo. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Enough of this crazy fire, lady. I thought Mary would say something if we were being rude. She twerking. It is cool that they put stuff like this in the game, though.
how long are we gonna be here? <laughs> Bravo! Wow! Amazing. Mesmerizing! Yeah. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there mm -hmm. is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. Go away! I have been there. <laughs> Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! You stink! Oh my goodness. The best one so far. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> That was fun. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. 
Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit conflicted about this, this situation, this re relationship, friendship, um, whatever they, they call it. I feel like as much as they like each other, as much as they love each other, care for each other, I just don't think they are right for each other. Hate me if you, <laughs> hate me if you want to, um, but... I feel like, you know, as I've said, they love and care for each other, but she wants him to be something that he's clearly not. And I feel like, you know, they, she left for reasons. And I know with the whole thing, let's run away together. I feel like they, they could do that. I just think that it would not really work out in the end because they're so different come from s s they come from such different lives whatever you say past on some level i'm happy that arthur you know he knows he's got responsibilities and he can't just up and leave like that so on that on that level i'm happy he didn't but there's also some part of me who wants him to leave the gang there's so like don't get me wrong there's so many people there that i love but the leadership and some of the decisions the dutch is making and has made i don't agree with and i feel like it's been going wrong well <laughs> not really that wrong up until this point but people have still died and I just have a feeling, as we are gonna progress in the game, things are gonna get a lot worse. Like, right now, you know, there's been some consequences here and there, but it's not, you know, we've obviously lost Sean and some other people that we didn't really have a, well, as the player that we didn't really have a relationship with. And I'm, I'm scared and worried that we're gonna lose more people. Yeah, on some level, it would be nice for Arthur to get out of that the gang but going away running away with mary is not what i would have wanted but oh, again it, it would probably have been a happier a happy happy ending whatever you call it yeah it it wouldn't be right in the long term in my opinion but 
yeah i'm so conflicted with mary because i know i know the type <laughs> with just you know stringing stringing them along well there's both men and women who do who does that stringing them along knowing that they just got them right here if they just well excuse me right here if they just do the bare minimum because they know how the person feels about them and that they would do almost anything for them and for the opportunity to be with them looking from the outside in to their situation it's a whole lot easier to see but once you're in the, once you're in it um it, it's not as easy and i totally get that i've definitely um i've i've been arthur definitely 100 <laughs> percent not gonna not gonna lie and you know once your friends kind of get to knocked into your head it's even when they do it it's still not as easy just letting go like that and i i get that and i respect arthur for like he knows he's a fool he knows it um but you know sometimes you can't help it and that is also totally fine but yeah mary i know she wants to be with arthur she, like obviously she likes him but she just wants him to change and to be something he's not but that he probably could be but I, it's just not him, and yeah, that, I think that's enough for rambling. I, I think I rambled a whole lot the last Mary mission, but I feel like this, their situation just hits close to home. Or th there's some very relatable parts in their relationship for a lot of people. So I feel like I think that's why I'm so I wouldn't say passionate about it, but just have very mixed feelings about it but yeah anyway enough about that <laughs> yeah i am actually gonna go and end this video here the merry mission did take longer than i thought it would obviously we did go to the theater um a theater which was a lot of fun i really really enjoyed it and i was gonna do it anyway um at some point i think Next part, we're gonna start off by doing the stranger mission that was available. I, did, I don't know if it's with the, the priest. I don't think he's a priest. The religious guy? Maybe do that. And then the Jose mission. And then we'll see what else gets available to us. But other than that, we could go and adventure a bit up here. And hopefully I will be able also be able to get the, the streaming up and running. On YouTube so we can go hunting and fishing which fishing we didn't go and do this video but we'll get to it we will at least cast cat that will at least catch one legendary fish in a video and then hopefully do the rest in, in another one or in a, or do the rest in a stream anyway thank you so much for watching I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel I also stream over on Twitch and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and if you'd like to support my channel even more you can check out the links in the description down below that is all for me for now so bye and take care